Hello, well it's a wee while since we've done a video blog and that's primarily because we've been tied up with the Rugby World Cup 2011. By now I'm sure you've had a chance to sample the flavour of the atmosphere, the teams who are touring in New Zealand, the great games that are going on and hopefully the opening ceremony which was world class, I think you'll agree. Uh, I want to congratulate Murray McCulley, did a fantastic job in terms of uh, putting together uh, that show and, and organising what was a tremendous event. Um, it would be remiss of me not to say that there were one or two disappointments uh, in relation to transport in Auckland. Uh, I believe that we're now on top of that situation. Um, ultimately, uh, that's a matter for Auckland Transport to resolve. Uh, but as we saw with the Australia Island game, a significant amount of capacity is now being built into what is a very old system, in fairness to Auckland. And hopefully that will address what will be undoubtedly very big crowds as we move into the quarter semi and final stage. That said, I don't think that should be taken out of proportion for the vast overwhelming bulk of New Zealanders. This has been a tremendous tournament. You can feel the patriotic pride running through the country. Flags everywhere, people enjoying themselves, some marvellous results and some spectacular rugby. We, of course, in this office hope for the mighty All Blacks to get over the line. We think they look in tremendous form. I know the boys are going to give it 110%, do everything they can to make the country proud of them. Whatever happens, I think we can take a great solace from the fact that this is going to be remembered as one of the great Rugby World Cups and one of the friendly World Cups, and I think that's what New Zealanders are known for. There's been a, um, a lovely uh, bunch of stories that you've seen through the media <coughs> about people who have done great deeds or helped people out. One of my favourite is uh, the couple that uh, thought they'd booked into a hotel in Eastbourne in Wellington. Turned out it was Eastbourne in England. And um, as it turned out, the person that owned the property, uh, the lady there, actually took these people in for the night, which made me sort of think only in New Zealand would um, someone take them in for the night and probably only in New Zealand would you stay somewhere for the night where you didn't know the people involved. A nice little um, touch to that story that nobody actually knows, or at least not too many people know, is that um, uh, Mike Miller, the chief executive of the IRB, told me last week that he went round to visit the people to thank them for their hospitality and gave them four, cups, uh, four tickets to the Rugby World Cup. So that's a nice little touch for them to enjoy. Anyway, enjoy the cup. Um, it's a great celebration of the very finest of New Zealand. Um, make sure you uh, try and get along to a game if you get a chance. Things are selling out pretty fast, but there's still some capacity left. It's going to be a great uh, four or five weeks remaining for uh, New Zealand and uh, for anyone that's uh, vaguely interested in rugby. And as we saw in the weekend when Australia uh, lost to Ireland, the passion of the fans, uh, well, I might say primarily New Zealand fans cheering on Ireland, just showed you um, games that don't necessarily include New Zealand can have the most remarkable atmosphere, and that was certainly the case at Eden Park on Saturday night. Anyway, enjoy the cup. Go the mighty All Blacks.